Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London and immediately I know you're going to be asking the question about my wheels, check them out check them out back to stock I will move on to that in a minute but this video is really exciting I can't wait to start revealing a few announcements um, to do with the next couple of weeks on supercars of London I've teased you over the last few videos I think mentioning here and there about what I'm going to be getting up to in the next couple of weeks in April um, heading around across Europe with a few other supercars uh, I'm really pleased to get back to uploading today and then tomorrow for the Top Gear substitution video and then all through the week there's going to be some really really cool content coming and then let's start talking loudly while the DHL van drives past let's start talking about the 12th of April on the Supercars of London channel I am going to be challenged by Gad Tuning. If you don't know who Gad Tuning are, I went down and took my car down there. I had the car decoked, which is taking out all of the hydrocarbons and cleaning the V8 engine. So my car was breathing perfectly. Gad Tuning are going to give me a Top Gear style challenge, and I don't know what it is at the moment, but it and it's going to involve a start and a finish point and I think it's going to be a fuel economy run like what happened in the Gumball 3000 from London to Edinburgh so that's going to be really exciting that's going to be happening on the Sunday the 12th of April and I'm going to be driving from here down into France through France and as far south as I can get and um, someone's interrupting me <laughs> So here we go, nice of them to interrupt the videos. So we've had an RS7 interrupt the video, look at that, what a beast. Um, and as I was saying, we're going to be heading down as far south on one tank of fuel as possible in this car. And then the next day, the 13th of April, on the Monday, we're going to be driving that bad boy into central Monaco and then Top Mark's week will start which is going to be a huge huge week for me Supercars of London and there are going to be so many YouTubers that are all going to be there um, I have no idea how many people are going to be in attendance but I went to Top Marks two years ago it was unbelievable the cars on show were ridiculous I went to the car show but they've also got the test drives and the cars that drive around Monaco all of the time and of course all of the residents but there's going to be so many car spotters this year that have got cars like this car seen through glass Sam's going to be there in his Alfa Romeo 4 see you slightly later Tim of course is going to be on his Wear Schmie tour in in his 650s and bmw m4 and there's going to be loads of really cool youtubers that have got cool cars this year heading down to monaco as well that week i'm going to be staying with seb delaney you may know him on youtube you may not if you don't go ho ugh, go over and head over to his youtube channel and check him out we're going to be doing some collaborations with my car and his renault twizzy as well which is going to be seriously fun the content that is going to be coming um, from monaco is going to be insane but then it's going to be topped off when we leave Monaco on the 21st of April we're going to be driving through France Switzerland Italy Austria Liechtenstein Germany Belgium and then back to the UK I'm going to be joining the return leg with Tim Shmi 150 and we're going to be having a lot of fun with my car and about 13 14 other supercars so the content is going to be insane and on the supercars of London YouTube channel all of my content is going to be sponsored by Armitrix the exhaust system that I've got on the car and I cannot wait to drive my car through the Monaco tunnel the famous Formula One circuit and all sorts of very famous landmarks in and around south of France so the next two weeks um, from the 12th to the 27th of April is going to be some crazy content and for those two weeks I'm going to be having a few army trick stickers on my car you know that I love a, a bit of a sticker um, from Gumball 3000 when it was Team Iron Man it's not going to be as crazy as that and hopefully a little bit more tasteful and you'll see the final finished product in this video as well so um, we need to get the stickers out and start stickering up the car luckily it's still dry so I can get that on the move pretty soon um, and then behind me we're going to be going out in the RS7 as well in this video so there's going to be lots and lots of um, cool content I hope you've enjoyed the information about Monaco if you're going to come down to top marks then I look forward to seeing you say hello if you see me um, and I'll be driving my car around quite a lot as well so definitely take some pics and uh, some videos as well what's that Jesus that van sounded like it's got a supercharger. So now I'm going to set my camera up and get stickering up my car um, with Army Tricks stickers.
zero skill. Is that in the middle? Uh, no, it's near the pool side. So top, to top, to top, to top. You want the white really in the centre of the Audi I guess. Zoom out. Show the final or the the, the next stage to my car or what it's gonna look like for Monaco. Army Tricks branding. Let's see whether I can hear yours. He's an exhaust. <laughs> nice shaped wing mirrors. Mm. Oh, it's got a cool thing that um, there's a light on the uh, wing mirrors. So if anyone's in the lane, so basically if you can't pull out, the, the light's on on that patch. Really? Yeah, it's actually quite good. It, it, they're in your blind spot. Okay. That light's on there, so it tells you. It's basically you just glance, and you know that you can't pull out. Obviously, you can rely on it. But, but yeah, it's in dynamic at the moment. But you can raise and lower the suspension. Lower it all the way. It's low. You can hear the whine. Yeah. Yeah, go right at this roundabout. I don't know what it feels like for passengers, but certainly for drivers, just like boots you. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's straight off there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah. It's so undramatic though. So are we on low or high now? No, we're on low. Yeah, we're, we're low, apparently. And we're in dynamic and sport. We've got paddles? Yeah, don't we? Yeah. I'm mean, yet to really use them properly, but I'm sure they work. <laughs> Decided to vlog. Show you an Easter egg. Idiots go Easter egg hunting. No, it's Easter egg shopping, it's not even hunting. It wasn't even a hunt. No, there was no hunt. It was uh, very clearly uh, signposted. Yeah. No this is really awkward, vlogging in Tesco's. <laughs> 60. <laughs> <laughs> and it was raised, so we weren't even aerodynamic. So here we go, this is our quest to get a good picture on Instagram. Come here. Prius hunting in the RS7. Get out of the He's way! Given up. given up straight away. <laughs> so, oh, well, well, I'm so zoomed in. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so this video, I'm not sure how the announcement has come out. The RS7 got in the way of most of the video. Um, we were able to do a bit of a, a bit of a fun day out even though the weather is dreadful on Easter Friday, Good Friday. And um, you've got to see my car, the new look of my car. It's got the stock wheels on. Um, I've decided to do that for the Monaco trip purely because it's got brand new set of tyres on and these are better than the tyres that were on the old car as well. So the old rims um, are no more and it's back to the stock wheels. I've put the Army Trick stickers on the car, which um, I probably will get a lot of comments saying, why did you do that? It's only for two weeks and it's whilst I go down into Europe, down to Monaco, south of France, but then also across Europe, coming back with the Schmi 150 tour, um, with seen through glass and loads of other supercars. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I certainly have. The RS7 is an absolute beast. I didn't really do a review on it, actually, to be honest. Um, but it's super stupidly fast, very executive, very quiet, um, and quite understated as well inside. But then also, when you, when you start specking it with carbon on the outside and a bit more racy with the sports exhaust, I'm sure it turns into even more of an animal. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the look for Monaco 2015 and the Supercars of London tour as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. There's gonna be uh, seriously tons and tons of footage of more and more supercars over the next coming month or so. And then once we hit May, then obviously summer starts kicking off in central London as well. So 
it is gonna be just a ridiculous time for me to film as much as possible. This camera's coming with me, and I hope you guys can continue following my journey of um, owning this fantastic car, um, and also traveling down and across Europe in it as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Probably said that about three or four times, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, which I've said five times. <laughs> See you later, cheers.